Earlier, I caught up with Pamela Geller of Stop Islamization of America, and I asked her reaction to the approval of the project. This was earlier today. Take a look. The Landmarks Commission, all of which were Bloomberg appointees, voted unanimously. There was no shock there. This is a Bloomberg's toolbox. Not one person reflected their constituents or many uh, historical architects and architectural historians that I spoke to where there were other buildings very much in the same Palazzo design, 311 Broadway, and the work, the magnificent work, of course, of Daniel Badger, who was a pioneer in ironworks. Uh, but we expected this. And this is not going to stop us. We believe the government should not stop the mosque. We believe in religious freedom. We believe in religious liberty. It's not a religious liberty or a constitutional issue. It's then a what's human it about? issue. What's it about? It's about, okay, it's about outreach. As Imam Rauf would say, this was about outreach and mutual respect and mutual tolerance. And if that was his objective, he's failed abysmally. He's created an enormous amount of pain and grief. It's offensive to, all the, to most of the 9-11 families and a majority of Americans. And frankly, why can't he be? Why can't we appeal to his humanity to withdraw the mosque? Why, and just is, build it, a why is it offensive? Mayor, like why is it offensive? Mayor Bloomberg says that having this mosque is because of the uh, history of religious tolerance in the United States and in New York. How is that not the case? Well, of, clearly, we have hundreds of mosques in New York City. It's not religious tolerance, and Bloomberg does not reflect the majority of New Yorkers or the sentiments of uh, Rudy Giuliani or Pete, Ro, uh, Pete um, uh, King or uh, Sarah Palin or many politicians that are stepping up to the plate here. How is it religious tolerance to build a 15-story triumphal mosque looking down on the burial ground, the sacred ground of 9-11, when it was Islamic texts? Because because Islam does not promote people to fly planes into, into buildings, many would argue. Uh, the last chapter, which supersedes all chapter, is a very violent chapter to kill non-Muslims and to conquer. And yes, they were all they were all screaming Alu Akbar. It was so absolutely then Pamela, Islamic. Is this a, so then, Pamela, is this about a mosque or is this about Muslims and Islam? Oh, it's not about Muslims. I do not believe that Muslims in America do not believe in religious freedom. And many Muslims, like Zudi Jasser and Suleiman Schwartz, have come out against the mosque. It's an Islamic supremacist mosque when you are dismissing the pain and the feeling of Muslims of conscience and non-Muslims by asking them, appealing to them to please not build the mosque. And Imam Raouf has very questionable ties. The XNL, EXNEL uh, Corporation is a funder of Cordoba and Asthma. They, they are his organizations, and they are tied to bin Laden and al-Qaeda. As a matter of fact, in Kissimmee, Florida, Pamela, Pamela, a $100 this, million Pamela, can I ask you, if this, uh, wait, isn't, wait, wait. If this yeah. isn't about Muslims, if this isn't about your views on Islam, how come on your personal blog you've said that Islam inspires Nazism? I have one posting here that says in the headline, Hitler would be proud of his Muslim armies. It seems fitting that Muslims would kick off their Jewish genocidal campaign in Austria, land of Hitler's youth and rise to power. Yes. Well, Hitler was inspired by Islam. Hitler himself said the Armenian genocide, which was the, 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 the slaughter of under two million Christians by the Ottomans, by, by the Muslim Empire, uh, was his template for the Holocaust. So what does that he mean today? You think the... Islams are inspired by Nazism no, 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 in their no, no, beliefs you, today? Wait, but, 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 wait, you asked me about a quote. And the Mufti of Jerusalem, who was the leader of the Muslim world, was an ally of Hitler and responsible for the death of over 400,000 women and children. Now, you can whitewash history, but that's a fact. And yes, Hitler was inspired by Islam. I Islam was not inspired by Hitler. They came first. Then who are Hitler's Muslim armies today? Well, first of all, the Muslim armies of Hitler were in Bosnia. The Mufti of Jerusalem raised Muslim armies in Bosnia, and that's who Hitler's Muslim armies were. And the fact that Mein Kampf is the number one selling book in many Muslim countries, including moderate uh, Muslim uh, Turkey, I think is very telling. If you don't have a problem with Muslims, how come you posted a video on June 25th on your blog, you later took it down, uh, that suggested Muslims have sex with goats and engage in bestiality? 
I never posted that. I never posted that. I, I didn't say that. And that's not my position. My position is I am against the violent ideology that inspires jihad in Islam. And there have been 15,802 Islamic attacks since 9-11, all, every single one, with the imprimatur of a Muslim cleric. What is being done to expunge Islam of the, the violent teachings that are inspiring jihadists in Somalia, in Ethiopia, in Lebanon, in Gaza, in France, in England, in, in, in Russia, the Chen Chen rebels, in the, the Uyghurs in China. I mean, this is a worldwide problem, and I don't see where it's being addressed to expunge the Quran. Of Pamela, the what does this have to do jihad? with what does this have to do with mainstream Islam in America? Why would you have a picture of uh, the Prophet? Muhammad, which I have right here, with his face replaced with that of a pig on your blog if you don't have a problem with Islam. First of all, I don't know where it is in America that you can't make jokes or make fun. I mean, you had Rapa Maplethorpe put a, put a, a cross in a So you a, think it's a, funny a to have of, the Prophet uh, Muhammad it, it, as a pig? Who cares? What difference does it make? I mean, this is America. Some would, uh, some would say this spreads Islamophobia and misunderstanding of Islam in America. Do you think that's a, a good Listen, thing to do? I have to tell you, there's nothing do you think worse that's a good thing than the to vile do? is. It is the, nothing worse than the Islamic anti-Semitism, and I don't hear you saying a word about it. So, are you very, trying very to very spread Islamophobia? No, I'm not trying to spread Islamophobia. I'm trying to spread openness. And you know what? We are open to candor and criticism and, 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 and freedom of Does speech. Does the Prophet Muhammad is a pig spread openness? I don't know what post you're referring to. I think you're doing draw Muhammad Day. Is that the uh, post that you're referring to? Someone else? I mean, it it's says not the Holy mine. Prophet. I didn't it has, it. It's on your blog, Atlas Shrug. Isn't that your personal blog? Atlasshrugs.com is my blog. Atlasshrugs.com. Uh, I wish you could show me the post. What's well, the I'm not going to show. I'm not going to show you. a picture of. Prof, you know, I'll cover no, it up, but afraid. I have it printed out you're right here. You're afraid to do that. I understand. I understand you're afraid to do that. This is part of the problem. We, we make fun of Christianity all the time. No, I'm, I'm not afraid. I just think time. it's disrespectful. We make fun of Buddhism all the time. What, well, all right, so it's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. It's not against the law. What's it's the not, but deal? is it the right thing why, to do? Why, in, a country, in a country where 38% of Americans think that Islam uh, is more violent and promotes violence, do you think it's the right thing to do to spread this kind of misinformation about a religion you're, that's misunderstood in the U.S.? Lauren. Lauren, you're proving it. You're afraid to show it. It's afraid a joke. to show what? You're afraid to. You're afraid to show a, 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 a cartoon. I'm not afraid. I don't want so to be disrespectful. I'm not I'm I don't want to be disrespectful I'm to not a religion's prophet. I'm not. You're being. Listen. You're just, in, as far as I'm concerned, you're speaking disrespectful to me. Who cares? This is America. It's freedom of speech. I mean, you're spreading the fear. You're. You're. It's a fear. You wouldn't have a problem if it was Jesus Christ. We wouldn't be having this. this I wouldn't put a picture of Jesus Christ about, as a pig up to the camera either. Did you do a show on Comedy Central showing Jesus Christ snorting cocaine? I never heard you mention it. I mean, really? What do you? Why? Why is this 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 special cl rights for special classes? This is freedom of speech. We poke fun, and what has this got to do with the mosque at Ground Zero? All right. Well, we're going to have to leave it at that. Uh, I appreciate you coming in and talking to us about your thoughts. Thank you, Lauren.